contamination. The pipe network here was designed to emit a gas for firefighting. One little modification later, and it makes an efficient death trap. Why would you do this? Your partners are here too. Oh, please. If they can't supply what I need, they're of no further use to me. Besides, I can't have him exposing my potential whereabouts. He's a maniac! Come on, we gotta find a way to open that door! Go ahead, struggle in vain. Once the last of you croaks, no one will ever find me again. So long! Are you sure you're ready to leave, Potten? You haven't changed your dressing today. You can't cure my face. Just give up. And what if I could? <laughs> nice try. You're just trying to stall me. Don't you worry about me. I'll find a way to cure my face once I get out of here. Oh, I doubt it. After all, Fontanians can no longer dissolve in primordial seawater. What? What? What, what the? I, how, how did you... The key component of the face-changing potion is the fluid left behind by dissolved Fontanians. It might look like ordinary water, but it has some unique elements in it. Before the flood, all Fontanians were oceanids, physiologically speaking. A potion made from that fluid could dissolve and reconstruct the face of a Fontanian in much the same way as Hydroidolans change form. Theoretically, it could give someone any appearance they wished. But since the Flood, Fontanians have become true humans. They can no longer provide the source material for this potion, nor reap its benefits. Are you saying... This potion is made from Fontanians dissolved with primordial seawater? Then their crimes are far worse than I thought. How could you know all of this? No, wait. <laughs> of course! Well, well. So that's why you have a human appearance. It also means that I have a formula you're unaware of. <coughs> oh, the air's getting thicker. It's getting hard to breathe. I might get to make a deal today after all. All right, keep talking. How do you intend to give me the formula? Oh, it's not a formula, but a finished product. I have a bottle of it right here. What? When I tried Rewat's skincare product, I noticed it had a certain special component in it. So I had my friends gather some other ingredients for me, and sure enough, a little experimenting later, I'd produce the potion. I'm guessing his skincare lotion contains the fruits of your joint research? Huh. Impressive guesswork. Yeah, we were a supplier for some of the raw ingredients. <gasps> but it only contains a tiny amount of the active ingredient. The effect is minuscule compared to the undiluted fluid. Well, I found a way to reverse the dilution process giving the skincare lotion a similar effect to the fluid it is derived from. That's impossible. If I tell you some of the ingredients, I think you can figure it out. First, you need to combine tinctured hydrophantasm tissue with transoceanic pearls at a ratio of around 3 to 7. Tainted hydrophantasms and transoceanic pearls? <laughs> I see. Can't believe I never thought of that. So, can we make a deal? Sounds good to me. There's a delivery pipeline beneath this window. Drop the potion in, and I'll release you all. Nope, not trusting you that easily. You're like those naughty kids who try to hide their illness. Open the sluice gate first, then I'll hand you the potion. <laughs> Even if you're not bluffing, your potion won't cure my face permanently. You really think you have any leverage here? I'm not closing the valve this time. Clock's ticking. Fine. Then I'll just stand here with the potion in my hand. And when I faint from the poison, 
I'll drop it and it'll be destroyed. <clears throat> no. poison gas in here. We have to leave, now. Move out. I was too close. That button is a real nasty piece of work. Oh, don't be too quick to sit down. Moving around a little will help relieve the soreness. Same goes for you, Traveler. Oh, but Paimon, you should be fine, right? Flying fast is pretty tiring too, actually. Anyway, that's not important right now. Paimon's still shocked to learn that there's a whole criminal operation going on behind that skincare lotion. Shame I ended up giving the improved version of Potten after finally making it for you. I'll make you some more, I promise. No, 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 please don't. Paimon doesn't want to use that stuff anymore. Still, it was a pretty good job that Paimon wanted to buy some in the first place, huh? It ended up saving everyone's lives. That's gotta count for something. Yeah, yeah, Paimon was just kidding. Head nurse, I've done a final head count of our team and the criminals. Everyone's here and doing fine. We're ready to escort the fugitives back to the fortress of Meripede. It's a shame that we didn't find Rawat. At this point, I'm afraid he's probably deceased. <sighs> what a horrible bunch! Especially that Potten guy! If he had made good on that deal, we'd all be dead because of him! 
<laughs> no, he wouldn't. I always keep a whole bunch of antidotes on me for emergencies. And one of them neutralizes that poison gas. We'd have been fine, even if you hadn't opened the gate. What? Then why did you give him the potion? If this is true, I must concur. Sorry to be blunt, but I think you made a bad decision by handing him that bottle. If he changes his appearance and flees Fontaine, it's unlikely that we'll ever find him. No matter how cooperative his accomplices are when we question them. No, you don't understand. I gave him the potion precisely so we could be sure where he'll go next. What do you mean? Oh, we gotta hurry. She won't last much longer. Body and mind. to act. So this is where you were heading, huh? What? This is how Potten looked before his face was marred. His current appearance matches the mugshot on his arrest warrant. Mm. I see. Wait, so what's going on? Wasn't the whole point of the potion to disguise himself and escape Fontaine? Why would he change back to his original face and run right into our trap? Enough of this nonsense. Let me in! You better pipe down. There's an old lady in there who's very sick. No way are we letting a crook like you inside. <sighs> to heck with it. Listen to me. I'm Rawat. That, that's my mother in there. He's gotta be lying, right? Rawat was a victim in all this. He was forced into it against his will. How can he and this monster be the same person? Forced against his will? 
<laughs> That's the funniest thing I've heard all day. Heck, when I was being coerced, everyone thought I was colluding of my own free will. And then when I actually became a criminal in my own right, you all suddenly thought I must be under duress. Amazing what a difference a handsome face makes. Save us the speech. Explain yourself. You want an explanation? Fine. I'll tell it how it is. When I was just potting, the whole world treated me with contempt. Ew. What do you want? Get away from me. Women despise me. Collaborate? <laughs> you don't look like much of a researcher to me. My peers scorned me. Mr. Potton, was it? I'm most interested in your research. Consider my offer carefully. I doubt you'll find other investment opportunities. Only villains would work with me. You went out of the game? Forget about it. Turns out, I slipped up a little. Left your picture with some Mara Chaussee Phantom officers. Easy mistake to make. Now they've listed you as an accomplice and drawn up an arrest warrant. So I suggest you put any thoughts of running away to rest. If you get caught by the guards for being in the synth business, you ain't ever seen the light of day again. <laughs> there was no way out for me. Until I could stop being potten. Mr. Rawat, I... <laughs> um... I have something I'd like to tell you. I became popular with women. This new potion you developed is fascinating. Genius, in fact. Would you consider working with me? I'd be happy to sign a licensing agreement. My peers looked up to me. Oh, I'm very interested in your research, sir. You must no doubt have offers from countless investors. So far be it for me to ask for a full collaboration, per se. I merely wanted to express my interest. No pressure at all, naturally. And the villains even began to fear me. Becoming Rawat showed me what a superficial world we live in. But I did not hold a grudge. After all, this superficiality could be made to work in my favor. Or so I thought. But alas, the world seemed bent on finding a reason to make me despise it. Mother, I'm back. How are you doing? Oh, oh who are you? I bought the best medicine Mora could buy, but nothing would cure her illness. In the end, I hoped she'd at least be able to see her son one last time before she passed, but when everyone else rejected me, the only person who cared about me was my mother. Then, when I became a rising star in the Fontaine Research Institute, I was unrecognizable to her. I have to let her see me again. Even if it means donning my own wretched, ugly face. Well, is that enough explaining for you? Now do you understand? Let me inside already! Have you ever considered if you'll even be able to look your mother in the eyes after what you've done? You found a way to completely change your identity. You could easily have escaped from them. But no, you chose to keep working with them. <laughs> Why would I want to give up on such a lucrative business? The profits were dozens of times that of the synth business, and it was all above board. So you kept being a villain just for the money? Villain? By what standard? Is doing evil deeds really what makes someone a villain in your eyes? Or does it all come down to the way they look? None of you saw a villain when I was wearing my other face, did you? You have no right to judge me. You're all just fake people living in a hypocritical world. I regret nothing. My mother would understand. You, you're a villain to the core, but especially that tongue. Honestly, 
I don't see a villain when I look at your current face either. Don't humor me. You don't seem surprised by my confession in the least. How long have you known the truth? I didn't know anything for sure until you chose to take that potion bottle and spare our lives. But if you're asking when I started suspecting you, it was the first time you came to see me at the infirmary. I had to confirm my suspicions. That's why I chose to join this investigation. Are you kidding me? A young promising researcher and a wretched criminal? What on earth gave you the idea that they could be one and the same person? Well, there were no visual clues. This potion's face-changing effects were very powerful. Even as a melazine, I couldn't see through the disguise. But I believe I understand humanity a little better than most of my kind. Humans have certain fundamental qualities that do not change with their appearance. Fundamental qualities, huh? So you think you're the one who's seen through me, do you? Most people probably don't know this, but I think I can guess what your deal is. Melazine constitutions are very close to that of water, so it stands to reason that the potion should work on them, too. You used it yourself, didn't you? That's why you have a human appearance. Sea Dream? Yes, you're right. <laughs> I'll bet it was back in the days when Melazines were discriminated against because of their appearance. It was either carry on living in the gutters as part of an alien race cast out by humanity, or become the head nurse of the Fortress of Meripede, revered by all. Not a hard choice to make. It's a no-brainer. So you see, you and I were the same. And I'm the one who saw through you! That's not important right now. You came here to see your mother, didn't you? Well, I can grant you your wish. Huh? Head nurse, I'm not sure that's a good idea in his current state. Don't worry. Back in the warehouse when I traded the potion for our lives, I was doing it to test him. He was willing to risk sacrificing his only chance of escaping capture by opening the gate in exchange for the potion. Also, he could see his mother again. If nothing else, his concern for his mother is genuine. I see. So before you arrest him, please allow him to see his mother one last time. The Traveler and I will accompany him. You have nothing to worry about. All right. I understand. Mom, it's me, Potten, your son. You, you recognize me now, don't you? <coughs> Mom, what's wrong? I'm sorry, but I have some bad news. I examined your mother last time we were here, and it appears that due to her prolonged...